A Titan memory no one is talking about? This video is going to surprise a lot of people. Hello Titan fans and welcome back to Manga Horse for another Attack on Titan video. Today we are going to talk about a specific memory that no one is actually talking about. We will also analyze it and find out why do anime watchers are not familiar with it, even though it was present to us in the very first chapter of the manga. In addition, I will also give you two theories for what is behind this memory and why it was absent from the actual anime. The first theory I think by now is pretty common among manga readers, but the second theory is one that I have been thinking about for some time now, and I decided it is time to share it with all of you and see what do you think about it. Honestly, it is more of a fun idea rather than a full-on theory, but as usual, I will provide certain examples that will support this idea. I will also make sure to connect it to the actual story in a beautiful way, so even if you don't agree with this idea, I'm sure you would appreciate it. Now, as much as I want to make this a spoiler-free video, in order to explain what is behind this moment, I have to mention two things that will probably show up next season. One is about a character that was not yet presented to us in the anime, and the second one is about the appearance of Mikasa Ackerman in the near future. But, in order to make this video as spoiler-free as possible, I will not give any spoilers beyond a picture and the origin of that character, and I will not talk about her role in the story at all. So, I hope anyone watchers could enjoy this video as well as the manga readers. Having said that, let's talk about memories. Memories and flashbacks have been a very common motive in Attack on Titan for the past few seasons, they provide us with crucial information that sometimes even makes us think differently about the characters that we love so much. In the anime, the first time we encountered something like that was Eren's dream, when we see Titans ravaging Shigenshina and even Carla getting eaten. All this before it ever happened. The memories start to take a bigger role in the story when Eren unlocks his father's memories to see his past actions and encounters, and even when Eren catches a sudden glimpse at Frida brushing her hair in front of the mirror. But as I said, there is one more memory that was very well hidden in the manga, especially because it was so early in the manga at a time when no one had any idea of what is actually going on. And that memory is no other than Mikasa telling Eren, see you later, before he closes his eyes, and then wakes him up. At that point, she also asks him if he was crying. That moment was actually present in the anime right after Eren's dream. In the manga, the first thing Eren tells Mikasa is that her hair looks longer. That is a very weird thing to say to someone you just talked to, don't you think? For quite some time, people didn't give this much attention, which I actually don't understand because it is a very strange scene. So today, we are finally going to talk about it. So, let's start with our first theory. So Eren thinks that Mikasa's hair seems to be longer. Well, obviously, that is not possible if they just saw each other a few minutes or hours earlier. So how come Eren thinks that her hair is different? As I mentioned, in the anime, Eren's dream seems to show us parts of events that haven't taken place yet. It is no secret, as we can clearly see the smiling titan, and later in the episode we actually see him, or better yet, her, eating Carla Jaeger. That led a lot of people to understand that in fact, that is some premonition for future events. So, for our first theory, we will stick to that line of thought and look forward in the story. If you remember, it was actually Eren telling Mikasa to cut her hair in the first season, now that she is a soldier. And, of course, love struck Mikasa agrees to that and indeed shortens her haircut. Manga readers also know that future Mikasa does have even shorter hair in season 4, so the most common theory about the scene in the manga is that Eren is actually talking here with future Mikasa from around the year 856 and not young Mikasa back in year 845. Without getting into too much details and spoilers, that scenario is actually pretty acceptable according to things that are going on in the manga this day. So, first theory is that Eren is actually witnessing future Mikasa in that specific scene, 
and as far as I know, this is one of the most common ideas behind that specific scene. I'm guessing that by now some of you are pretty surprised by this, especially if you haven't read the manga from the first chapter. But, like I said, today I'm going to give you another scenario, which I actually prefer, because I think it is much more in line with the writing of Isayama, the creator of Attack on Titan. So what the hell am I talking about, you ask? Well, in order to present my idea, I will ask you to look into the past and not to the future, because this is where I think this memory actually takes place. And the base of this idea is the following. This is indeed Eren, but that is not Mikasa. Surprised? Wait, it gets better. In order to explain this, let me take you back around the year 792, when an Eldian boy is born outside of Paradise Island, on Marley. This boy's life is not very clear to us, but we can assume he is part of a well-established family that lives in Liberio, or around it. For animal watchers who don't know what is Liberio, it is an internment zone where most of the Eldians on Marley are living in. Ten years after the boy is born, something happens on Marley, something that will lead to this boy to lose his family. In fact, this boy actually witnessed his family being killed by fire. Seeing this horrible act takes place from his hiding space, this moment will form this boy's future and will give him a purpose in life and a deep desire for revenge. By now, you probably already realized which boy I am talking about. I'm actually talking about Eren Kruger, which years later will become the Owl, and also will pass the Attack Titan to Grisha Jaeger. Yes, so you got me. According to my idea, the Eren in this panel is not Eren Jaeger, but in fact, Eren Kruger. And if you want to get more details of this, feel free to check out my video, The Life of Eren Kruger, where I explain his life with actual dates using the Attack on Titan wiki guide. Now, just to clear up something important, when I say it is Eren Kruger, what I mean is that Eren Jaeger is witnessing the memories of Eren Kruger. So, when I say Eren Kruger, I actually mean his memories. So, if this is Eren Kruger, and this is not Mikasa, then who is this girl, and what the hell is going on? Don't worry, we will get to this in a minute. Going back to Kruger, after his parents died when he was only 10 years old, he was rescued by friends of the family. And here is where my idea begins. I will argue that if those friends of the family were able to save Eren and hide him, they are either a well-respected Eldian family with connections, or they are not Eldians at all. My guess is that they are from another country visitors on Marley, or even something like ambassadors from a foreign country, and I'm talking about the Asian clan. This is not so far-fetched, after all, being that the entire world feared the Eldians, we can assume that Marley was in contact with other nations, like they are in present events in the manga. So, if we assume that this family that saved Kruger is indeed Asian, how does this connect to what I'm talking about? Let's say that this family also has other kids, and maybe even a daughter, and what if this daughter was Kiyomi? Now, Anima Watchers, this is a spoiler I've been talking about. Kiyomi is a person from the Asian clan, and that is all we are going to say about her in this video, to not spoil anything for you. Like I said, I think that this girl is not Mikasa, but in fact, she is actually Kiyomi. Now, Manga readers, before you go into a colossal rage, let me point out some facts that may help you see this my way. First, let's look at some dates. In future events, around the year 855, Kiyomi seems to be around the ages of 50 or 55. Of course, we cannot say for sure, but according to her appearance in the manga, I will say she is around those ages, and I will say 55 for the sake of argument. So. If Kiyomi is 55 on the year 855, it means that she was born on the year 800. At that point, Kruger is only 8 years old. Two years later, his family is killed, and he is rescued. On the year 817, 
Kruger catches Grisha and Faye, and Faye is killed. On that point, Kiyomi is around the age of 17, and if we go along with my idea, she is living with her family on Marley and has some connection to the Kruger family, a connection that we still don't know a lot about. According to those dates from the Attack on Titan wiki, we can clearly see that it is possible for Kiyomi and Kruger to know each other. So, if we want to connect it to the actual manga scene, we can assume that Kiyomi is saying goodbye to Kruger. Another thing, I recently learned that the Japanese translation of that phrase, see you later, Eren, is not actually accurate. And as I understood, it meant something more like, see you when you get back, or see you back home. If this is true, then it is more likely that Kiyomi is saying this to Kruger, maybe even before he went and got the Attack Titan. So this is one thing. Another thing is that the girl in this panel does not show her full face. It can easily be because Isayama didn't want us to see the differences between both characters, or to not give up the character's age. By now, a lot of you must have noticed that Kiyomi doesn't have a scarf, like the girl in the panel or Mikasa. So, what do I say about this? I say, bravo Isayama, because Kiyomi in fact also has a scarf, but Isayama preferred not to show it to us in every panel, and if my idea is correct, that is another genius move on his part. And now, like I promised in the start of this video, I will connect it to our story in what I think is a really beautiful way. So, check this out. If I am correct, then, on Marley, a family of Asians saved an Eldian boy from persecution, and that boy gained a stepsister. Years later, inside the walls, a family of Eldians saved an Asian girl, and that girl gained a stepbrother. This is actually the exact opposite scenario, and I can absolutely see Sayama coming up with this idea one family returning a favor, across time, and this is why I think it is actually a beautiful scenario. So what is the actual reason that this panel wasn't in the actual anime? The truth is that some things cannot come across from being written to being shown on TV, and that is mostly because of the voice actress. If my idea is correct, and this is indeed not Mikasa, then her voice would have been different, and therefore will reveal to us that something is not right. Now of course I know that Isayama himself said that the anime is the actual finished product, but even so, my idea can still be possible, and even if it isn't, it still makes for a nice story. So, what do you think about it? Do you think it is possible my idea is correct? Or is it just a nice scenario to think about? Don't forget, it is only an idea to make you think about this story in another angle. So, please share your thoughts with me, I would really want to know. This is the end of our video, and by now we have two different aspects of this mysterious manga panel. One is looking towards the future, and the other possibly looking into the past. Which idea do you like better? Please comment past or future, what do you prefer to be the right one? Or maybe you have an idea of your own. In that case, you must share it with me, because I really 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 want to hear about it. If you enjoyed this video my friends, please consider subscribing and enabling notification to not miss any of my future videos, and also, it helps my channel so much and shows YouTube that you like my content and that just gives me more motivation to create more and more. Also, feel free to check my Facebook and other social accounts for daily updates and also for my animation that I recently started doing. I enjoy so much reading your comments and interacting with all of you, and you really make me enjoy doing this more and more each and every day, and clearly I have so much more to share with you in the future. And that is all for today my titan loving friends, and thank you so much for joining me today, and I can't wait to see you all next time. And as usual, like in any other of my videos, let me just remind you all to dedicate your hearts to humanity, inside and outside.
the world.